Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the second part of this Q Audi Q5 repair. I did receive the turbo core or cartridge yesterday. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna replace it. I haven't opened it yet, so hopefully it's all good. It cost me 162 pounds from eBay. Let's have a look. It comes with some fitting guide there. So 162 quid. Well, let's see what we get. So we get an O-ring, a gasket there. Another gasket. And a new cartridge. That's a lovely. It's moving nicely. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this one apart. It should be a pretty easy effect to be honest. It's not very difficult. All we're gonna need is gonna be a 10 millimeter spanner and then a T30 this side. I'm gonna start removing the actuator. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off the bracket, it's probably gonna be easier. Take it two 10 millimeter bolts. This one's quite tight, so better with the socket. There we go. Spanner, not much room here, so okay. So that's the second one. So the actuator is loose. Let's see what's going on. With the new one, all right, okay. have to remove this little clip then you're gonna have I believe it's a 10 as well yeah 10 millimeter it's good to keep this in the same position so when you finish with the job is it's gonna be set up properly so I'm just gonna move the bottom one I'm not gonna move the top one I'm gonna leave it this C2 there Otherwise, we probably could get under boost, over boost condition. Okay. A good idea to put it back where it came from as well. So I'm put it back there. All right, so that's the actuator there removed. Now we can concentrate one of the. I'm gonna do the turbine side because this T30 here. Um, it would be better if I remove the turbine side first. So there's a bunch of 10 millimeter. bolts oh, okay and obviously doing this you can save yourself a lot of money this turbo to buy from Eurocar parts is just under 1300 quid it's a little bit of labor involved but you know 162 is Maccas other than 1300 these bolts and washers they are they are all the same size so as long as you keep track track of it you'll be all right 
and it should be coming to the end so this is the six six bolts so I think that's it after this one yep all right so that side is ready what I'm gonna do now very important step I'm gonna mark it the orientation A couple spots just to be sure okay so now the orientation that goes back in all right so carry on now we can remove this turbine side a couple light hits even all the way around really there now you can see the opening here nearly nearly there there we go uh, the shaft is totally broken there you go so that was our problem Another ring here. It's broken. I think there's a retaining clip for the for the shaft. Yeah, so that is gone. Basically. So now as you can see we've got access to the four bolts for the compressor side. Is a T30. Let's see if this drill. So this is not impact, but I think that should should be okay. One, two. Three. Fourth and last one. Okay, again, I've got my, my marks here, so it's all good. Just doing a marker here again. There you go. It's a bit oily, so it's hard, but anyway, so that should just pop out like that. And you can see I've got our O-ring there that we're gonna have to replace. The shaft broken. Look at that. Got one of the bearings coming out here as well. Yeah, so that is it's bad, broken. That's what we're going to be replacing. The impeller here is quite good, there's no damage to that impeller there. Uh, to this impeller, totally buggered. Look at that, it's all bent. All the thick things are bent. All right, guys. So I cleaned everything. I cleaned the veins here. It's nice and free. I didn't take it all out because, to be honest, it's, it's not very dirty. Um, it, it wasn't very dirty, but it's nice and clean now. It's nice and free, as you can see. So, what I'm gonna tackle now at the end there, the inside, you can see some marks where the impeller was hitting. So, I'm just gonna try to smooth that out. And we are ready to assemble.
All right, guys, so turbine, turbine side, the vein is all cleaned up. It's not bad at all, so I'm not gonna take all apart. Now, we have compressor side, I'm just gonna clean them up, some brake cleaner. Very important to clean this part here because you don't want all the oil that was in here to go into the engine. I'm getting cloth. Just gonna have to be careful of my marks there. All right, so that's nice and clean. All right, lovely. One important bit here from this old cartridge so this is the our inlet for oil and I've got a 14 millimeter long uh, deep socket here is a six pointer I put into the vise already break broken loose but I re would really recommend a really long socket there we are there's a little copper sort of um, gasket there and that we have to transfer to the old one or to the new one sorry which is here which so I'm gonna do it now actually so I'm gonna put some Loctite there again Let me clean that first a little bit okay nice and clean And back into the to the new cartridge, all the way in. And that's it. I can't put that back in there, can I? Huh. Doing that. Good. Now we're gonna assemble gonna assemble this compressor side first. Otherwise we're not gonna be able to put the bolts in. So I'm gonna get my marks, so I've got my two marks there. And that aligns there. Oh, I forgot my my ring, my my seal, which is here. Seal goes gonna go around here. Make sure it's nice and flat. Line the two marks, which is there. Okay. So I've got our T30 here again, some Loctites. Another three. You have to mark the position of this side, otherwise, obviously, you can't fit any 
in any direction, any position. So if you don't get your marks right here, when you put it back in the car, obviously it's gonna be facing the wrong pipe and etc. So the turbine side is not too bad because we've got the pins. So it's always good to to get your some reference anyway, but obviously it wasn't needed. But this side is very important, so. Right, I'm gonna do the rest by hand. But we are ready. We're ready to fit the turbine side now. So again, you're gonna want to align the, the little lever here in that hole. This hole here. And then you have a sort of a location pin, which we're gonna go in here. <clears throat> is in moving nice and freely again lock tight those bolts now we've got six spinning nice and freely lovely yeah it's good so the last piece of the puzzle now the actuator so the actuator rod is gonna go through the little lever there Or lever. We didn't move the position of the top one, so it should be in the correct position. Otherwise, we would have a over boost on the boost condition. But now that's that's in the same place, so that's good. All right, so that's that. Now we have. A longer bolt and a shorter bolt. The longer bolt with the washer is going to go at the back here. So I'll put some Loctites. And this one you can probably fit in place. Because otherwise it's quite fiddly. And Should go in now. There we go. And we can fit the rear one. Make sure they got nice and straight. The rear one is good. Is that a ten? Yep. Yeah. That's good. Fault one. Don't need to kill it. Okay, that's good. Just 
that can have that bottom and that's here That's good. That moves nice and free. Lovely. And that's it. New turbo. So you can see spins nice and freely. And the rear there as well. No play. Pretty simple, a bit fiddly, a bit dirty, but we are ready to install back in the car. Uh, forgot the little clip. There we go. Forgot that. <laughs> Don't forget the little clip. That's all done, already finished. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you on part three where I'm going to be reinstalling it. Mm -hmm.